Well, the Dallas Police Department is clarifying details in two sexual assaults from early Sunday morning that happened less than two miles apart. One of the violent attacks was in Deep Ellum. A suspect's been arrested. There he is. The other was in South Dallas, and so far there's no suspect information about that attack. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is at Dallas Police Headquarters with more information on both assaults and the confusion, too. Natalie. Well, Steve, a police spokesperson says that there was some misinformation that was released early on, making it seem as if there had just been one attack. Well, the explanation for that confusion, police say they were dealing with two different sexual assaults, both of them, though, within a very short time frame, and both on Malcolm X Boulevard. Everybody just come through here and just be careful of, of your surroundings, you know what I'm saying, and kind of walk like you're not scared, you know. Edith Norris describing how she carries herself in the area of Malcolm X and MLK Boulevards in South Dallas. Police say about 5 a.m. Sunday, a woman walking alone was approached by a man driving a gold four-door sedan and offered a ride. When she refused, he forced her into the car, drove a short distance, pulled her out, and raped her. It makes me wonder, you know, should I just stay in the building or try to get someone to stand out here with me? This woman at a nearby bus stop did not want her face shown or name used. We have so many single mothers that walks the street, has to be at work at 5 a.m., and they walk, they walk around carrying knives and tasers because you just don't know what's going to jump out at you. About five hours before the rape in South Dallas, less than two miles away on Malcolm X Boulevard in Deep Ellum, police say this man, 40-year-old Roy Gutierrez, grabbed a woman by the neck and arm and forced her to an alley. Police say he then pushed her to the ground, strangled, and raped her. Gutierrez has a long criminal history with a dozen mugshots for charges, including burglary, trespassing, and aggravated sexual assault. He was arrested for the Deep Ellum rape after police circulated a picture of him from surveillance video. Police say the Deep Ellum and South Dallas rapes are not related. Mounted cameras cover the Malcolm X MLK intersection, but police did not respond when asked if the cameras caught anything that might be helpful to put a second attacker behind bars. My heart goes out to the family. It does, and I pray that we can, give, we can catch this guy. And police also want to clarify that neither woman went willingly as it was indicated in the early information that was released. And there's no mention that either attacker used a weapon. Steve. All right, Natalie Shalise at uh, DPD headquarters. Thanks.